Tuesday morning. It's once again rainy outside, which is so disappointing. Yesterday, the day started so nice. It was sunny and just beautiful out. I took Coco for a walk and then by noon it was downpouring for the whole rest of the day. And then last night there was a gorgeous sunset so I thought maybe today it would be clear and I could have some nice pool time, but no. It's been so nice to be home and build my own schedule. As much as I love being on the ship and my job, it is really nice for a change to just have the whole day to myself and plan accordingly whatever I want. So today my mom and I are gonna go to the mall for a little bit, we're gonna do some shopping. I don't really have an idea of what I wanna get, I'm just hoping to get a couple new things for my Europe trip coming up next week. Anyways, I just did a spin workout and I just watched YouTube while I biked. Um, I got a good sweat in and now it's time to shower, wash my hair, and get ready for the day. I have made some of my first form greens on the go because I have them every single morning, but we were kind of in the rush to get out the door. And we were on the go. And we're on the go. We're en route for the mall right now, the Galleria. So good. I will have these linked in the description. But plan for the mall is Zara, Primark, Sephora, because I have a gift card, and maybe Lulu lemon maybe get my ears pierced whatever we have time for we have a couple hours let's test our luck here are there any fours i'm only seeing five. Ooh, look at those those are gorgeous having a small foot is actually a curse because there's never shoes for me oh here's the kids clearance maybe i'll find something here hmm <gasps> okay these are the shoes i ordered I got them in a one and they were a little too tight, so I sent them back to exchange and they didn't have a two, so now I got refunded, but they have them in a four, so maybe they'll have them in a three or something. Let's see. They have a three and a half. We can try it. I think it's gonna be too big. We can try though. These are also adorable for the fall. <gasps> I feel like I'm just gonna disappoint myself with these. Yeah, they're huge. I'm so sad. What do you think? I like, I think you should get Yeah, I think I'm gonna get them. And they're 40% off. All right, here we go. This is so cute. I've been wanting to get a bag like this. Okay, I just found this bucket hat and it's like the perfect size. It was in the boys section. There's also a green, and this one is $2 on clearance. What do we think? We've entered a dangerous section. We're in the bag area, which you know is my weakness. I don't know if I'm gonna come out of here without a bag. <laughs> They're so cute. They're attached by like a string, so I can't really walk with them, but we're gonna do a little mini walk to test it out, see if they actually work. Dressing rooms are closed. You improvise. <laughs> Put it on over things. That's the that? look. We made it home. I have definitely done some damage, but I'm starving. My mom just organized the fridge and it looks really good, but I have no idea what I want. I'm gonna start with some hummus. I've decided I'm gonna make a smoothie bowl. I'm gonna attempt to, hopefully I can get the consistency correct because every time I try to make a smoothie bowl, I don't have acai, so I'm just using frozen fruit. I put a little too much almond milk in and then it's runny, so it's more of a smoothie. But we're gonna try to make it thicker so that I can have it as like a smoothie bowl and then I can put granola on top. I have strawberries, banana.
Oh, I'm so excited to dig in. Moment of truth. Mm. So good. That smoothie bowl was so good. Definitely hit the spot. I'm so full now. I do want to make a coffee because I haven't even had coffee yet and it's approaching three o'clock very shortly. Definitely gonna have to make myself a coffee, but I want to show you what I got from the mall. There's a lot to go through. I guess I'll just go in the order that I shopped. So first, when we stopped in DSW, I found the boots. Obsessed. And you know how much those ended up costing me? $23 with tax. So I didn't have luck with heels there or my sneakers, but that was a good find. Primark was by far my biggest purchase of the day. I spent $135. We're just gonna pull things out of the bag. First thing, I got this three-piece toiletry set. I wanted to get some clear bags for packing when I travel because I'm traveling all the time. So there's three different sizes in here. This was $7. I got a couple hats. First one is this one. It says Los Angeles and it is like a adjustable strap in the back. This was $3 on clearance. I got this little bucket hat from the men's section that I thought was cute. And then I also got another bucket hat in green that was also on clearance. So, three hats. I did buy those pink heels because, you know, when I find a pair of heels that work for me somewhat, I buy them and they were $5. So I got them in the pink and I also got the same shoes in silver. I wish they had gold. I would have preferred that, but these are still really cute. Um, next up, I got these like navy blue accordion style pants. I think these will be really fun to style. I can dress them up or down. I got the cutest PJ set. I saw the print and I said, I need it immediately. Oh, it's so cute. Next up, I got a trouser short. I'll probably hem them like an inch or two, but otherwise they fit really good and they were cute. Again, I'm trying to build like a capsule wardrobe. I do need to do a deep dive of my closet again. Maybe that'll be an activity for tomorrow. Maybe not, who knows, we'll see. I got a pair of white denim shorts. They're like a mom style somewhat. Um, they fit me pretty well and I just, I don't have a pair of white denim shorts. I got two biker shorts. I love a biker shorts for working out, for a hot girl walk, to wear with like an oversized tee. And these ones actually fit really well. So I got a hot pink pair for $6. And then I also got this like off-white color. I was very surprised at how well they fit though because usually when you put on biker shorts from somewhere where it's, you know, a little less expensive, the waistline you can tell is gonna stretch, but these ones were very nice and fitted. I got this little striped sweater. Super cute on its own for layering, like you name it. That's gonna be a good piece to have for pretty much all seasons. And then last thing I got from Primark is this oversized Montauk little crew neck. It's a size large, so it's massive on me, but I like a sweatshirt to be nice and baggy. And this one is so soft as well. My mom and I went into Bath and Body Works because she had a coupon, and they were having their like semi-annual sale. So I picked up a shower gel. It's the Cotton Candy Cloud scent. It smells so good, it's so sweet. And then I also got the Peach Bellini hand soap. Last but not least, we went to Zara. They were also having a sale, so I just couldn't help myself. First thing I got is a restock of my all-time favorite Zara perfume. This is the Fabulous Sweet perfume. I still have a little bit left here, but I'm getting low, and I'm worried that if they discontinue the scent, I won't have any more, so I've got another bottle. Next is this little dress. It's like a sundress, but a little bit elevated. You could definitely wear this to like a nicer restaurant in the summertime. It's a high neck. It has a fun little print. I don't really have many sweaters for the summertime, so I just picked up this little cropped one in case it's a little bit chillier. It's just like a knitted striped sweater, and I thought it was really cute. I'm also envisioning myself wearing these on my next contract when we're in Greece, so there's that. I got this little button down. This is a must have for my wardrobe. I can't believe I don't have something like this yet. Then I got this little green tank top. It's a knitted top and it has a fun like lower back. And then finally, my last item from Zara is this fun little printed top. 
I saw it on the hanger and I thought, okay, this has potential, but then when I threw it on, I actually really liked it. And the material is incredible, it's so silky. That's everything I got. I am so pleased with my purchases. We did run out of time, I wasn't able to pierce my ears because we were in a little bit of a time crunch, but I can maybe go tomorrow to get them done or day after tomorrow. The sun is actually peeking out, which is very exciting. Maybe I'll do some work out on the patio. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Let's make a coffee. This is your sign to go give yourself a little treat, whether it's a coffee, a little pastry, whatever your heart desires, treat yourself because you deserve it. dinner so tonight I want to make my little Mediterranean bowl it's like the Jennifer Aniston salad I think is what they call it it's what she ate every day on set of friends but I don't have chickpeas so instead of chickpeas I'm opting for falafel which is made of chickpeas so that works out great I'm gonna slice up some cucumber bell peppers I've got feta cheese couscous I'm gonna try to chop up some almonds because I don't have walnuts, some green olives, and then spring mix. Yeah. Salad is all assembled. Last step is the dressing. So for the dressing, I'm going to need one tablespoon of olive oil, a tablespoon of lemon juice, garlic salt, and pepper. Here we go, looks delicious. Dinner was absolutely delicious. I am so pleased. The falafel was really good. That was my first time trying it. And it was super easy. I just threw it in the microwave and then added it to my salad. But something that I've been wanting to do for a couple days now, actually like maybe two weeks if we're being honest, is wash my makeup brushes. And what better time to do it than at night because then they can dry overnight and then I can use them tomorrow. Here they are. They, they're very much needing a clean. We're going to dive into that and then I want to take off my makeup and do my skincare and put on a face mask. That just sounds really nice. Also sidebar. I just purchased a Rare Beauty blush and it took me, I'm not kidding you, like 25 minutes to decide a shade, maybe longer. I was scrolling on TikTok trying to decide, but every single shade is gorgeous. So I was like, I didn't know which one to get. I ended up on Joy. I decided, okay, you're just gonna pick it and you're gonna move on because otherwise I would be there for another hour trying to decide, but I'm really excited to receive that in the mail. This right here is a beautiful sight. Gorgeous! Brushes are all set. I'm just gonna let them stay here for the night and then we can put them back away tomorrow once they're fully dry. Face is washed. Tonight I really wanna try my new No Beauty Glacial Clay Mask. The packaging is gorgeous. Hopefully my hair stays in this claw clip because that will be a bit of an issue if my hair falls down when I've got this mask on. Today's been a really good day. I've had a really nice time with my mom. Obviously shopping was really fun and I got some work done as well. Got a workout in, like it was eventful, but I will say I've been much more chilled out lately since I've been home. Like usually I like jam pack my schedule, but I think it's also because my friends are all pretty much busy. So like I have been seeing people, but I've been spacing it out so I'm not overwhelmed. But it is also a little bit stressful because I do leave in like a week and a half and I wanna make sure I can see everyone before I'm gone because then I'm gone for three weeks. That is looking good. I don't know how long I'm supposed to keep this on, probably like 20 minutes. We're gonna just let this sit for a bit and then we will wash it off when the time is right. work 
like I do, I'm still never fully caught up. Like I've been working all morning today and I'm still going strong. Plan for today is just work my ass off and I think I wanna take Coco for a W-A-L-K. Um, but the weather is once again kind of crappy outside. It was raining this morning. Now it's like severely overcast and I'm not sure if it's gonna rain again. I'm hoping it'll clear up because I really wanna get some movement in, but I'm just really sore and quite fatigued. So I don't think I wanna do like a crazy intense workout. Just a nice walk will be lovely. I just got a new package from Merit Beauty. I actually had quite a few questions regarding my makeup in one of my vlogs that it was like really summery. Basically what I use for my like summer minimal makeup look is Merit. I love Merit Beauty. Their products are incredible and their focus is to create products that enhance your natural beauty, which I think is phenomenal. They're also just great products for the summertime if you want like a, a lighter makeup look because once again, it's not super heavy makeup. It just gives you a really nice glow and I just, I can't say enough good things. So let's see what we've got here. This is the bronze bomb. I did guess on what shade I would be. Their packaging is 10 out of 10. Oh, that's really pretty. And then we've got the signature lip. I already have one of their signature lips and I love it. So I got another shade. This is Aperitif. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it's a beautiful red color for the summertime. It's time to get ready for dinner. We have reservations at like quarter to five or five o'clock, which is quite early, but it was the only time that we could get a reservation. This restaurant is always booked and you have to try and get a reservation like a month in advance.